in America, table tennis is seen as a much more recreational sport. But when it's at a serious level, it's completely different. It's not so common in the U.S. for table tennis players to play professionally. It's more common to study and playing more in your free time. I think in Europe the sport is much bigger and much more popular. So I just moved overseas from California to here in Grenzo, Germany. It's just like hundred people and you know surrounded by forests. There's really no distractions for me here. And finally tonight, ever since table tennis became an Olympic sport at the Seoul Games in 1988, the U.S. has never brought home a medal for it. But that could all change in Rio, thanks to a teenager who's already got a major claim to fame on Team USA. NBC's Jolene Kent with the story. At just 16, Kanak Ja is the youngest American athlete to qualify for the Rio Olympics. And we'll now head to Rio. I don't think it matters how old the person is, because in the end, you just want to win. <laughs> He's the son of immigrants, and like so many tales in Silicon Valley, Kanak got started in his family's garage at just five years old, playing with his mother, Karuna Jane. I started playing with him because he was too young, below the table, and nobody wanted to play with him. <laughs> His older sister, Prachi, humored him, and eventually, Kanak started to win. Oh, I had it. I was going to hit the next Wait. shot. We were pretty competitive for a long time. We both wanted to beat each other. Soon, the kid wonder was filling drawers and shelves with medals and trophies. Anything you do right before you go out for a match? I wouldn't say I'm super over superstitious, but I do say some stuff to myself just to you know, calm me down, and it's like a mantra, kind of. Want to share it with us? No. Sorry. Uh, it's a secret. Yeah. A secret that he hopes will take him straight to the top. This town has a big history. It was uh, one of the top clubs in Europe. When you speak about Grenzo, you speak about table tennis. Seven, six, five, four. You cannot drink alcohol, you cannot go to discotheque. Uh, that, that's normal. You need really good uh, uh, discipline. I think between five and six hours you have to work day by day. Sometimes they are a little bit tired, but he's quick, he's hungry, he's, he likes this game. Very <laughs> easy. I hope never he will stop with this mentality. I got started playing when I was like five years old. My parents and my older sister, they would go to this community center near our house where they had many games. And my parents would always play ping pong and I would just always watch. Then I just said, you know, I have to play also. It just seems so fun. Normally, I train two sessions every day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon and evening. In general, it's always good to have some things to work on. So when you go into practice, you know it's in your head and not just playing. For me, I try to work a lot with my footwork. You have to be able to always move your feet in such small movements, sideways, but also front and back. And this actually makes it much more explosive sport and people realize. When I was 11, I played in the U.S. National Championships for cadets. Yeah! And when I was 13 years old, I actually reached the semis of the men's event. Kind of trying to stay real focused, the game is not over yet. Oh, he's done it! He has done it with a backhand over the table, flip, receive, and Kunick is moving on. Standing tall at four foot six,
This was when I really realized I could go somewhere. This is the North American Table Tennis Olympic qualifier. We have Ya Kanak, just 16 years old. This tournament for me was really hard because the first two days, both days I lost my first match in the last set, in the seventh set. 5-0. I went down 5-0. I just, I was thinking, yeah, I cannot do this again. You know, this is last chance. Finally, first blood from Kanat, first point. So I stopped thinking and just focused on every next point. Smart play there from Kanat. And it's official. Yeah, I managed to come back and win. Kanat celebrating, and the Americans have gained the second position for the Olympic Games. I actually qualified as the youngest player in the Olympics for the U.S. team, but I think I was more nervous than I expected in the Rio. It was a tough match for me. I actually lost my first round to yeah, one player in the morning from Iran, so it was finished for me. But when I come back after a loss or a close match, which I could have won and lost, it's tough at first, but it really motivates me because it's always in my head, you know, I, I want to win next time. Right now I'm looking forward for the Tokyo Olympics. This is a big motivation for me to keep training because after going to Rio, now I really hope to be more ready for Tokyo. Yes, don't go back <laughs> it's tough sometimes, you know, to be away from Everything in California is in a different place with different culture and different people. But it's also helped me meet so many new people and this has been really nice. I also have many people supporting me. Friends and my family are always helping push me and keep me positive and motivated. So you went running yesterday and you went running today also? I went running two days ago. But this was easier stuff, just interval. So tomorrow is like an easier day or pretty intense? Tomorrow, two sessions because everyone's preparing for match. We go there more early morning and then eat lunch there and then rest and then get ready for match. I miss them a lot sometimes, you know, and, but you know, they're very supportive and you know, I always talk to them so it kind of makes up for not being there all the time. That's great, Kanak. Uh, any time for homework at all? Uh, <laughs> uh, not today, but... <laughs> <laughs>